I'll call you in for breakfast in a moment then. I don't remember what we're doing. I probably should rewatch the last video to figure out what the fuck was going on here, but. Also, I don't remember the voices. So if they sound different every video? No, they do not. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> for goodness sake. I've neglected it for so long. It won't be impossible to dig. Anyhow, this is no time to loiter about. Oh my god, shoes! What is this? What's this? I think every trial, do we get a gift? I don't remember. But I think this is our first gift. A pair of shoes. How could they possibly have wound up here in my garden? Oh, oh they're wonderful. Oh, I didn't read the names. And they fit me like a glove, too. These shoes. It's as though they were made for me. I did it! All of Kieferberg needs to hear about this. Oh, damn. In. Got some new kicks. From now on, it's Miss Ali At least now. What the fuck? On your feet, Elise. I think I remember making a voice like that. Damn, she got on those shoes and instantly just started singing in front of me. Look at me! <laughs> Bro. That's embarrassing. Oh, it. <laughs> what, is there what is there to explain, Father? Could you not hear yourself, lass? Parading into St. Wilderberg's place of worship. Howling and shouting like a... Please, old joking. Hogan, sorry. Words of egotism, vanity, disdain for your fellow folk. I've always known you are wicked, you arrogant lassie. You old <laughs> Why are you... A witch? A witch of old Holly's kin. I am not a witch! Oh, listen here, you old wretch. Enough. I've heard enough. Old Hogan has overstepped his boundaries. I ask that you pardon him. Yet his concerns weigh heavy, Elise. <gasps> oh, I wasn't aware singing and dancing was forbidden now, Father. <sighs> Your singing was riddled with sin, lass. Vanity and lust go hand in hand with greed. Your. Oh, shush it! What does any of this have to do with sin, Father? This old geezer just accused me and my grandmother of witchery, yet. <sighs> Enough, Elise. Compone your compose yourself and come inside. Your temperament is a sin in itself. I'm not go- Very well. No suspicion here. We are not a witch. 
I guess I'll repent for something I didn't do if that makes you happy. Yeah, there's something I'd like to make clear to you all. You've stood witness to this foolery. You've all heard Old Hoken accuse me of witchery. That's enough, Elise. You asked me to pardon him yourself, father, and I will. Yeah, I demand you folks understand this once and for all. Out with it! I am not a mere maid of all work. I'm one of you. And I demand right here, right now, that you start treating me as such. <laughs> Very well, Elise, you've made yourself heard. Oh. Without a shadow of a doubt, lass. I don't know. <laughs> At last, he's made his move. Who are you? An old acquaintance of yours, lass. Huh? What? You're favored by him, at least frightfully so. You're clad in his will from head to toe. Inside and out. And those shoes? My shoes? Those very shoes, Lee's, are a testament of his gift to you. Who is he? Listen carefully now, my beautiful ass. <laughs> Get away from me! Yours is his heritage, his flesh, his ardor. I already say that. Don't you understand, Elise? You're name? adopted. <laughs> How do you know my name? His blessings, his will. He himself is writhing in your veins, lass. We related? <laughs> what do you want from me, you old hag? You must listen carefully now, my beloved. Do as I say, and you will make all your wishes come true. What? My wishes, you say? Why, well, yes. Opulent, splendor, fortune. Your deepest desires, unlike any other, Elise. I... I don't understand. You do, Elise. Tell me, what is it you most desire? Me? Speak it, Elise. What I most desire, that's... Fortune. Fortunate you are, Elise. Did it say something different last time? Oh, I tripped. I don't remember. Deep in this woodland, there is a patron saint. Oh. Whose blissful words bestow a blessing upon the faithful. All that's requested in return are three gifts made from the testaments to one's desire. Reach his dwelling with all of these in hand, and you shall be granted. Go through three testaments, and then get three gifts. A womb, carrier of life. Your basket is to hold all that is sacred. I need a basket. The tender flesh of earthly desire. Wherever that is. Skin? <laughs> the sweetest nectar to be drunk in earnest. Blood. <laughs> I don't know. You are to arrive in good company. The object of your affections. My boo? My holy boo? <laughs> you are to reach the gates of his dwelling, carrying all three gifts. He looks very suspicious. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Look at his hands. <laughs> your voice, your inner, innermost desire. Surrender yourself wholly to his grace. <laughs> and fortune shall you shall attain. For such is his blessing, and such is your desire. Oh, cool. Uh, I guess. Elise? Totally not suspicious of you. Elise, are you listening? <gasps> oh. 
Where did she go? Elise. Oh, are you alright, Elise? Where did that old hat go? Elise? Elise! What's the matter with you? Leb Cohen. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Leb. It's best we let her rest rest a while. We can sit with you, Elise. Oh, it's best we give her some space, Jacob. I'm alright. I I felt a little dizzy as well. I can bring you some water, Elise. As for me, I'll be in church waiting to have a word with you. Don't you start, Leb. Oh, I've already started. My, now you've done it, Elise. Oh, for goodness sake. Also, you want to see my shirt? It's Megan the Stallion. I went to her concert. I freaking love her. Also, I'm hungry and I don't remember. It's X, right? Oh. No. I need food. Let's go ahead and eat all these breads. The only annoying, real annoying thing about this game is the eating part. Why do I have to remember to eat? <laughs> I'm here for my earful, I suppose. You're no child, Elise. For goodness sake. <laughs> I'll spare you, Elise. You're aware you've said too much. I couldn't have stayed silent, you know that. I agree it was their fault, Elise, but... We both know this will only get you the wrong kind of attention. Old Hulkins, to be exact. I'm well aware, well, Lebkuhin. There's no real need for you to fret over this, you know? There's the utmost need for me to fret over, Elise. I'll keep Father Hans from dwelling on him too much. Alright. Why don't you meet me here at dusk, Elise? We could both use a little downtime, wouldn't you say? I'll be here. Meet her at dusk. Hello? Speak to me! Why you ignore me? Round two. I was gonna say something crazy, but I decided to keep that to myself right now. <laughs> I decided to keep that to myself. <laughs> Elise! How did you chop all that wood, Elise? Um, well. I hope this is enough for what you went through, Elise. It's not that great of a deal, is it? There's only 52. Woods. Oh. Oh, brother. I thought I'd never find you, Elise. Oh, what now, Muffy? It's your... Anyway. I don't have food for you. Shoo, shoo. Uh, but at least it's, it's your... My what? Your friend. Huh? Uh, the last with the funny hat, she's right outside. 
Oh, brother. Taking me to her, Molly, right now. Right the fuck now! You're supposed to be at home! Cleaning! <laughs> My, you co you're covered in dirt, lass. I, um, I am... She's so funny looking. Look at her silly hat. <laughs> Angelica, don't be rude. Do you know this lass, Elizabeth? Uh, Elise said she's from Primaldorf. Primaldorf. Oh, I'm not from Primaldorf. I've never had it. Why, I haven't the faintest idea, Arian. Uh, I, I'm looking for Elise. Have you seen her? Elise? Do you know her? We do happen to know Elise. But how do you know her, lass? Uh, Elise said she's she's adopted. And when did you hear about all this, Melly? Oh, it, it, if you'd please tell me where. Look, Mama. She's, she has a tiny scarecrow. Forgive me, but does anyone know where I, where I can find Elise? I'm right there. What are you doing here? You, you're supposed to be at home. You know, stay home. Why would you come out without me knowing? Like, why wouldn't you be like, hey, so? Oh, I guess she did say she'll let me know when dinner is ready. Right? So you do know the last lease. Uh, yes, yeah, she's uh. Think, Elise, think. A distant cousin from Primaldorf. Oh, why? You don't have cousins, Leeds. I do recall Holly's mother had a sister, but I never met her. Yes, exactly. Um, Rosamine is here. Here is my aunt's granddaughter. Uh, it's Rosamine. Oh, I'm so very pleased to meet you, Rosemary. Oh, thank you. Anyhow, it's getting quite late. We best get moving along before. Uh, but do tell me, my dear. How long have you known you had a cousin? Met her this Saturday. Granny Holly told me about her. <laughs> she said, Rosemary, Mo Rosemarine, Rosmarine. I keep on forgetting I say her name wrong. She said, Rosmarine here might show up one day, you see? I never got to meet my aunt before she passed, but I'm glad to meet my cousin. Ah, oh, I see, I see. And she turned up just in time for the festival, too. Mama, Mama, can the funny lady come play with us? I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't want to bur bar blur 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 blur. I wouldn't want to bother you, Rosemary. You are all very welcoming, but we ought to get moving along and One wonder, Elise. How did you meet your cousin then? She sent someone to Kieferborg. <laughs> Rosemary asked someone from Probodorf to ask around Kieferborg. Kieferberg, you see? Uh, I see. I can't say I remember anything of the sort. I'm surprised such a thing didn't make itself known about town. Uh, you see, we... Oh, perhaps we're being rude, Ariane. I must say, I'm curious too. <laughs> well, I'd love to send chat, but we don't have that time. Uh, uh, of course. We, uh... We ought to sweep the living room. You're a terrible liar, Rosemarine. Rosemarine. <laughs> it's truly a present. Pre <laughs> like Chick fil A. It's a pleasure to meet you all. <laughs> Let's go, Rosemarine. Huh? Well, uh, I thought I put this. 
I thought I was very good at convincing them that she indeed is my cousin. But in fact, I was terrible at it. Ah, okay. For goodness sake! Have you completely lost your wits, Ross Marine? <sighs> I'm sorry, Elise. I knew you had a bird's nest for a brain, but this is too much. Uh, well, you know what you did. I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to. I was chasing after Flock, you see. For goodness sake. For goodness sake, Marine. Ross Marine. Why not let him frolic about? That's what goats do. Oh, no. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, skipped a whole bunch of dialogue. I guess we're not reading that one. Alright, well. The truth is, we made a complete mess of it. I didn't even want to think about Father Han's reaction. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Elise. I, I didn't mean to trouble you. Forget it, Ross Marine. It's alright. Anyhow, we ought to keep our story straight. Maybe if we tell them I came to lend you a hand before? This is it. That's it, Ross Marine. Huh? Alright. Alright, listen carefully. Your grandmother is your grandmother is Granny Holly's auntie, the one that never came to visit. That makes you my dis cousin of sorts, you see? Yes. You came about to meet me, but we could have simply bumped into each other. And you asked me if I knew anyone named Holly. Sorry, I don't understand. Elise, how does that relate to what I said? <laughs> Why you liked Kieferberg so much, you wanted to stay and lend a hand. Oh. You're a kind, charitable, loving soul who wants to help the festival. That'll keep them from asking too many questions, I'd wager. <laughs> I think that's a great... I think that's a great idea, Elise. All right. This being said, Rosamarine... I mean, Rosmarine. Fuck. This being said, Rosmarine... You're going home right after nightfall, you hear? I don't want you hanging about these folks too much. Yes. Alright, Elise. I did it! We're making it happen right now. Right now, then. Let's go. Yes. You ever just, like... Your, just, your jaw hurts from talking too much? That's what's happening right now. <laughs> Heading back to work. Get back to work. In here. I don't need to get in here. A toy horse. Don't know what that does, but you know. It's good to just have things. Ah, there they are. Your cousin, is it? It's a pleasure to meet you. She came all the way from. Primaldorf. Primaldorf, that's a long way from here. Ah, truly. I was thinking of asking you to collect me some eggs, Lise. Of course. I hate this one. I'm so bad with the chickens. <laughs> Let me in there! All the chickens peck me. Once you get out the groove, it's over. I, I need to pause, but I don't want to. A B? I got a B. Boo, not even an A. No.
Here, I thought two people would get more eggs. Rosemary, Rosemary's not quite used to it, Mr. Wilhelm. That's all right, Elise. Here you go. You two still did a good job. Thank you, Mr. Eugene. I love Mr. Eugen. But I'm pretty sure it's Eugene. <laughs> he's my favorite character here. Yeah. He's one of my favorite characters here. Because he's just so nice. He's so nice, a little bit gullible, but he's nice. You'll see why I say that later. It's best you get home now, Rosemary. Folks have had enough of you for one day. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun, Louise. If you say so. I'll see you at home, then. Oh, my date. I gotta go on my date. There she is. Yep. <coughs> you'll start- you'll start to grow roots staying there all day, Lepkuen. <laughs> Why, I'd make for a rather pretty flower, don't you think? Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't go that far. Screw it. For goodness sake. <laughs> a little cheery for this time of day, don't you think? You're the one who's had an eventful day, at least. Too eventful for my state, even. Mm -hmm. There's plenty to tell me about then, isn't there? Why, well, I, I think not. <laughs> I'm keen to spend time with you, Leb. Please. Now sit. <laughs> sit? <laughs> right there. Sit, sit. Now this is what I came here for. <laughs> Beat standing, what do you say? <sighs> I spoil you a little too much, I say. <laughs> Not like I'd have it any other way, anyhow. You're telling me all about it later, Elise. About those shoes and about that lass. Alright, alright. Not one more word about this nonsense, now. You hear? Fine. Still, Elise, I thought you knew. You know what? About what happened earlier today. Though it's probably best I tell you about it later. <laughs> For goodness sake. To think you're a proper nun, more like a proper imp. <laughs> you truly are, it's so easy to tease, Lise. For goodness sake. What's the, what's the different colors for? You better not be hiding anything from me. You get to keep secrets, yet I don't. So there is something. I wouldn't say I'm keeping it from you, but... You'll think I'm untrusting, Elise. What? You see, I've been thinking about you. All of Kieferberg knows you won't stay here forever. Will you? That's a different issue altogether, at least. <coughs> ah. Seems to me you're quite the same, if I'm honest. Be that as that may, what am I to do when you're gone, at least? You're... how to put it? Your only comfort in this dull place? You're also very much irritating. Like an imp, I'd say. <laughs> Am I now? <laughs> Am I now? Terribly so. Didn't think I could read you this easily, didn't you? <laughs> My. My! Give me a second. <sighs> My, I might just throw you in the wall at this rate. I might drown, Leb. Then you'd really be left without me. Oh, 
Elise. I'm well aware, Lepkuin. You're not the only one who thinks fondly of what we have, but... But... It doesn't mean we can't be together someplace else, does it? You hadn't thought of it like that, had you? Anyhow... I'll be waiting for you by the fountain tomorrow afternoon. Don't be late, Elise. Mm. Oh! I see. For goodness sake. I got a heart! Anything else? With some pretzels, maybe? No, I'm good. See ya. Ought to keep yourself well fed, you hear? As long as you got food for me. Don't you start, Lepkuin. I'm not explaining myself again. My lips are sealed. You can stare there and look at me all you want. She's a brother of sweet lass, I must say. Lepkuin. I know you, Elise. She's my cousin. There's nothing more to it. Oh, could you s Oh, could you say that again? She's, um, you know. No, I don't know, Elise. That's why I'm asking. Now that we got that out of the way, won't you tell me who she is? <sighs> she says she's a traveler. I found her hiding in my granary on, sa on Saturday. A traveler? I'm not convinced either, Lab, but I feel sorry for the poor lass. She says she's, she'll be leaving right after the festival, so it's only temporary. What well, has she come near to do? She won't tell me that much herself. I have no intention of bringing her here to Kieferberg, but she graced us with her presence, I suppose. I had to think of something right there and then. Elise, I shouldn't be housing a stranger, let alone put myself in harm's way for her, but I understand, Elise. Oh, Lab. I also understand what you're telling me is a half-truth at best. Here's your bread. You'll let me know if you need more, won't you? I trust you all the same, Elise. You don't have to help me, Lab. You know that. Yet here I am. Look at me, Elise. I do trust you. I need you to know that. Alright. Stay out of trouble now. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Look who it is. Let me save! I'm new. Oh, I think I need to check up on that hill. Is it this way? No. It's this way. I wouldn't know that once was. This is it, surely. But I can't move this out of the way. Maybe I should come back some other day. Maybe it's not- Maybe it's not out of reach. I'm not quite sure I believe this nonsense, though. Shining in the distance, the monumental castle stands Ephemeral? And now I've reached. Whoever that word is. <laughs> well, that my vocabulary is not high enough for that one.
Always save, guys. Remember that. <laughs> hey. Ah, oh, there you are, Elise. It's quite late, isn't it? Oh, spare me the ear for a ear. Whoa! When it was an auto. <laughs> Dang, I keep on pressing freaking button. Okay, I'm sorry. What's there to sweep out here at nightfall, anyhow? I'm sorry. Oh, I, I was keeping myself busy until you came home, is all. And Flock here was amusing himself chasing after the broom. Flock. Weren't you, Flock? What's for supper then? Yes. Oh, uh, I made grape soup. Grape soup. <laughs> soup? <laughs> I figured we could both use some something hearty. <laughs> we have eggs. What about the eggs? Of course. I cooked those too. I thought we could toast them. I thought we could toast some of them, some of yesterday's bread to have them with. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. I'm sorry. Did I? Do something wrong? Eggy toast ought to be enough for today, I suppose. Let's head inside, Ross Marine. What? <laughs> it's nothing. Oh, but I... At least, wait. <laughs> it's tastier than it looks, isn't it? <laughs> Could have been worse, that's for certain. Anything tastes good when you're hungry, I find. I suppose today went well, all things considered. I'd best keep an eye on her, lest those folks. I'm sorry, I. Say, Elise, I haven't mean to ask you something. Yet. Hmm? Those shoes you found this morning. Now that you it. Oh, what about them? You still haven't told me much about them. I've seen them before in my dreams a long time ago. In your dreams? I'm sorry, I. Elise, is there something you're not telling me? Uh, I don't know where to start, Ross Marine. I've been avoiding thinking about it, but this morning in Kieferberg, I... It's fate, Elise. My fate's Elise. They're finally starting to align. Huh? <laughs> Bro, you sound delusional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. I was a Marine. <laughs> I saw an old... I saw an old hag, Ross Marine. She told me about this patron saint in the woods that he grants folks wishes wishes if they bring him gifts so it's true after all you've heard about all of this before <laughs> carry on carry on she said I must bring him three gifts the tender flesh sweet sweet as nectar and good company what if she's him Nah. Anyways. <laughs> oh, at least that's wonderful. What else did she say? Did she mention your fate? For goodness sake! For goodness sake, Ross Marine. You're scaring me with all this nonsense. <laughs> oh, there's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. You know, How do you know about all this? It's an old folktale my granny used to tell me. Uh, a folktale? Carry on now. What else did she say? She mentioned finding a dwelling in the woods that he will grant my wish if I bring him the three gifts made from th these testaments you told her your wish didn't you I did but it's nothing out of the ordinary it's don't tell me you can't tell other folks about your wish Elise Ross Marine, you have to tell me what's going on. Oh. All I know is that my granny told me, but I can tell you all I can tell you all about it, Elise. I can help you. I was a Marine. Ross Marine, I I need to think about this. I'll be here tidying up. You can ask me anything you'd like. Alright. Talk to her about the gifts? Alrighty, man. I don't know why we couldn't just... <coughs> Ross Marine. 
You don't have to look so frightened, Elise. This is all very overwhelming, is all. Oh, Elise, isn't fate such a wonderful thing? Enough of that, Rosmarine. What are these testaments and gifts? Oh, oh, of course. In order to meet him, you're going to have to gather the testaments to your resolve. These are tools and ingredients you'll have to use when crafting the gifts. It's common courtesy to bring your host nice gifts when visiting, isn't it? Huh. Um, um, there's also the trials, but I can tell you all about his folktale later. Alright then. For now, I want to know... The tender flesh. I don't quite like the sound of it, but... Oh, you're... Oh, you're the one making it sound bad, Elise. The tinder flesh represents your body, the vessel of your soul, so to speak. A representation of my own flesh, then. All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. Huh? That's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. It can be a nail clipping or a strand of hair. What's important is the connection between you and the symbolic vessel. A symbolic vessel? Ross Marine. The good company? I don't know what to think of this one. You should meet him when your soul is at its most vulnerable, at least. At its most vulnerable? Granny used to say, good company brings one's innermost self to light. One's true face, in, in other words. Rosarina, I'm not sure I understand. Why, it's love, Elise. Love? Love reveals all, wouldn't you say? I suppose. Rosmarine, what is the sweetest nectar? It's not as... Though I don't have an idea, but I don't quite like it. It represents your vitality, Elise. Your essence. You don't mean... All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. A part of my mortal body. I know what you're thinking, Elise. That could be it if that's what you're inclined to bring him, but... What is it, Rosmarine? These are meant to be as proof of your resolve, first and foremost. What's your determination that's most important, Elise? Huh? I need time to think. I can't wrap my head around this nonsense, Rosmarine. That's alright, Elise. I'll be here if you have any more questions. I think I need a moment. Bring him gifts made out of testaments. And I'm supposed to find these somewhere? But where? I don't know where. Just somewhere. That's no use going to the pantry, is it? I literally just walked in that direction. Let me do what I want. Time to save. Hi, little goat. There you are, flock. Ought to be nice being a goat, huh? Not one care in the world. Oblivious to everything. Yep. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wasted a match. Time to go up. And take me a good nap. I change. Granny Hall used to love this thing, didn't she? I still don't get it, but I can pretend. Spooky time! Spooky, spooky time! <clears throat> oh, never mind. For goodness sake! I can't sleep. I can't stop thinking about all this nonsense. <laughs> Everything that old hag told me about the testaments, the gifts, about him. 
what Rosamine told me too. I find it hard to believe, but maybe, maybe it's true. If I do gather these testaments, if I do find my way to him, maybe I could finally leave this road to town and live the life I was meant to live. Now that you mention it. Start new somewhere, someplace far, far away. This could very well be my chance of her happiness. You could. I, t I ought to at least try. I have to go to the woodland and find out right now. Why right now? We can just stay home. Like, do this shit later. Let's see if what that old hag said is true. I have to at least give it a try. Oh! So this is the woodland. I have to find them. I have to be brave. Let's just keep walking, just keep walking. Oh. What is this? Why is this wretched place? I must be careful. This could be dangerous. Oh, this is different. Okay, never mind. Uh uh, don't touch me. Now, how do I drive those moths here? All I've got is me and my lantern. Yep, and this is why I should add more torches. Come on. I guess it's good enough, but... Wanda, have you met the witch? She's so very eager to meet you again, would you believe? Again? The witch, you say? Your paths are bound to cross before long, but I have my doubts you'll last long in the Black Wilderness. Wait, in the Lord's name? Tell me. So I've already met the witch once. Is what they're telling me. <clears throat> and they're. Did I meet the witch again? Oh, matches! Yay! Oh, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, my, I'm using my brain. Hey, kid. She's taking advantage of you. Who, who is? That creature. She goes hungry. That's you she wants, your flesh. The witch? Don't allow her to interfere with your wish. How would she interfere exactly? Wait. Her interference, she says. Thanks for the hanker. I wish you didn't scare me every time I talk to you. What in the Lord's name? 
There's so many. I must find a way to distract them. They... I was about to say something like, they need to fix a way so I can save easier. Gotta walk around the whole block just to save. Looks like a doe's remains. I've never seen such a thing before. The pristine skeletal remains of a duck, every bone barren of any kind of life. I've been spotting these scribbles scattered about. Are these... People? I actually wasn't trying to get that. I have to press C, it's such a far fucking shit bag. We golden, man we golden maidens are to be sneered at. You'll understand in time, I'm certain. Why would you say that? My, you can't possibly think he'll give you- he'll give you his blessing. I was told otherwise. Oh, such naivety. Naivete! How amusing you are. I can't wait to welcome you. What an infuriating character. The pristine skeletal remains of a doe. Its entrails alone left intact. Get some matches. They're devouring that thing, huh? Maybe they'll clear the path for me if I lure them all here, but... They'll keep following me if I don't turn my lantern off. Oh.
Oh, my head's in there. What a wonderful sight. My favorite thing. You've come to me at last. Don't be frightened, Elise. Come closer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't you like seeing your head in a basket? What is this? What in the Lord's name? You've done well to find your way into these woods. It's imperative, Elise, that you listen to me closely. He's once more trying to take you away from me, but not for long. Huh? Take this basket now. You ought to gather the gifts in it, Elise. The gifts, you say? Find your way to him, deeper into this grove of mine. Only then you may... Only then your wish may come to freaking... Sorry. Only then may your wish come to fruition, my beloved. What is this? What are you? I will guide you to him, Elise. You ought to trust my word. Your precious wish will be safe with me. How am I to find them? You, Elise, are my kin. My triumph. My beloved. Progeny. Progeny? Progeny? Where are we? What he's done to me is no matter. All I want is you. I will allow him and his pets into my woodland once more. I will allow him to tempt you, to toy with you. What are you? All for the greater good, my beloved. So what we can't so that we can be reunited, so that I can bear life in my womb once more. I'm losing my wish. I need to get out of here, so I can dream what's mine. Oh my goodness. You know what's crazy? It's not even the butterflies that hurt me that much. Oh! Oh! Bro, I'm scared. Bro, I'm scared. Bro, I'm scared. Oh. Wrong thing. name what was that thing Keep it together, I need to get grip and go home to Rose Ross Marine well we got the, the freaking basket so is granny our mom <laughs> what's going on find your way home alrighty is our granny the witch Oh, hey, goat. Walk. What are you doing here? Bro, why is this goat side at me? I thought you'd be in the granary or out and about. Goodness, I don't, I don't feel so good. What is it, Flock? I don't like the way he's staring at me. Oh. Bro. Are we gonna have to- <laughs> we're gonna have to fight this goat. <laughs> what are you- Please. They got the same eye color, too. Suspicious? Rosa Marie? What are you doing here? Look. 
I was... I was out on a walk. This late at night? What is it, Flock? Come, let's go home, Rosmarine. Rosmarine. I didn't want to stay here a minute longer. Uh, Elise, wait. Day three. I guess that's the end of day three. It's morning already. I suppose I really did go to the woodland, didn't I? I don't know what to think of all that, but... Both Rothmarie and that old hag, neither were lying, it seems. Okay, 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 okay. So, so what I put together just now, this second, <laughs> is that... We're related to that old hag, which is probably the witch. I think she's the witch or something. We're related to the witch somehow. Also ties in with how we're adopted. That might be Granny Holly. Yeah, it might be Granny Holly or Granny. I don't know why, but like I think having him, I don't, I don't know what to call him. Creep, creepy random old man. Creepy random old man is in her woods. She's allowing him in his woods again, I guess. Like, this is her domain or whatever the fuck. And she's just like, yeah, I guess you can be here for real. <gasps> Maybe she is the person we've been worshipping. Like at church or something. I don't know who he is, though. Just a random guy. <laughs> Came in here. He was like, hey, can I get come in here? And she's like, uh, bro. Uh. <laughs> Anyways. Now I have to pull myself together. It's best I head out for, for now. It's best I head out to work for now. I'll lose my wits if I keep. A damn goat, bro. Rosemary and Flock? What are they doing out there? It's a crying unicorn. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. Are they the same person? What if he and, her and the witch are the same person? You clocked? Okay, I don't know. Or where are they? Maybe they're out front. <laughs> you two are always making merry, huh? Good morning, Elise. Oh, good morning, Elise. That stupid ass creepy goat. <laughs> Good morning to you too, flock. <laughs> I picked some mushrooms this morning, Elise. We can have them for breakfast. You know, I... Say, Rosmarine. You put flock away in the granary last night, right? <laughs> of course. I think he's taking a liking to it too. I always leave the door a little ajar just in case. I see. Is that so? Is everything all right, Elise? You seemed to be on edge last night, too. Uh, it's nothing, Rosmarine. I had strange dreams, is all. I know you went to the woods, Elise. Mm. You don't have to tell me about it, but... You know now, don't you? That I'm speaking the truth? Mm. Anyhow, come along. Let's head to work. You're taking me to town? 
we have to stick to our story, don't we? Come now, let's head to town. Oh, wait for me, Elise. Keep that goat over here. No, over there, actually. Bro, that goat was side-eyeing me. That goes suspicious. Very, very suspicious. You be a good boy now, Flock. We'll be back later. How come that goat likes you so much? He doesn't seem to be fond too fond of me. Um, it's a little embarrassing, but... I made a habit to carry food for him in my pockets, you see? So you bribe him. That's it. Oh, I can't help myself, Elise.